Before we get started, my name is Eric Bradley, coach, that is. And I thank you guys for watching. And right now, you're watching Master Boxing. And this is where we break the fight world down, round by round. Danny Garcia, Paulie Malinaji. I'm going to play this thing out, and then we're going to do a demonstration. So stay tuned, because this is where it gets interesting. As I look at this fight, and I've broken it down, what you're going to see in this fight there are several things that Paulie Malinaji will be able to do in this fight. And like Bernard Hopkins say, sometimes you have to go into the dungeon and smother the guy's offense. When he did that to Felix Trinidad back in 2001, people thought he was crazy whenever he eluded that game plan. But you want to take one of the best weapons away from your guy. This fight will look like the Lamont Peterson and Danny Garcia fight. I was at that fight present, and what I saw is... The ability that Lamont Peterson had was to keep Danny Garcia from planting his feet and throwing those bombs. Now don't get it twisted. Danny Garcia can make adjustments and he can get into that ass. But what Lamont Peterson did so well is when he gave him double jukes, not just going one way, he's light on his feet and he could actually elude those powerful punches and be able to roll. Key thing that Paulie Malinaji will have to embrace is instead of going to the to his own right, which is going away from the power hand, he needs to go away from Danny Garcia's left because Danny Garcia works from the body and that left hook is something terrible. Let me tell you, I was 10 yards away watching him throw that heat and whenever he digs you, he doesn't even have to put a lot on it. It's just a bomb. And when he double that thing up, he's like the fighters of old. He throws four to the body and take it up top. Boom, boom, boom. He did it to Lucas Matisse. That's when he dropped him in the 11th round. He had been doing that all night. Danny Garcia can put punches together. So in order for Paulie Malinaji to have success in this fight, he has to go to his left and smother and drop and roll up under Danny Garcia's right hand. Paulie Magic has to do, and that's what I call him, people, so don't get confused. Paulie Magic has to get up in there and drop and roll up under that right bomb that Danny Garcia has. Now, he will throw it slightly above the head towards the temple. That's one thing he does good. And he has a mild right hand, which is not as deadly as that left hook. That's why we're going to attack the right side of Danny good. Garcia. Drop and roll on him. Go up under that overhand right. And spin out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. Now that's how he'll get up under that hand. The same way years ago that Michael Spinks did Jerry Cooney. He stayed on the pivot for the first seven rounds of the fight. I mean, just, just dropped and rolled. Dropped and rolled. Gave him that angle. Got up under the big right hand. Smothered some all night it was a boring fight at first and then if you google this or go to youtube you can see the most deadly 20 piece combination ever put on a fighter to knock jerry cooney out it's game plan and like i said this fight is going to materialize just like the lamont peterson and danny garcia fight because paulie punches from here he got good defense defense is good he can take a good shot but he doesn't need to get hit with those bombs and he needs to stay away from that left hand because it's, if it's not, if not, good night. Because Danny Garcia is coming out there to put damage on him. One of the things that Danny Garcia can do in order to really stunt the growth of Paulie Malinaji, you know, like I said, Danny Garcia drops the bombs. He can press, he can cut the ring off. He's been trained well. And his objective is to stop Paulie that night to get that fan base going again. He likes to get the sizzle. And that's one of the things you gotta understand about Danny Garcia. He has the ability to hurt a guy so bad. And he wants to look better against Paulie Malinaji than even Sean Porter did. And when he throws that left hook, like I said, Paulie Malinaji needs to be aware of that four piece that he puts together. Because Danny Garcia can put it together. And I'll show you how he does it. Danny Garcia. <sighs> And finishes with the right, left. For those who know Danny, this is him. 
and he has a stiff and that's the way the fighters evolve if he gets Paulie Malinaji caught up in that it's going to be a long night so I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown and see how this fight is going to play out if you want to see what this fight is going to look like you'll see Lamont Peterson moving at the angles that Paulie Malinaji will have to but he'll be going towards Danny's right. He needs to. That's the key. And I hope you guys appreciated the breakdown by the fight doctor. And this is what we do. Every single major fight, we break the fight world down, round by round. So get ready. Saturday night, Paulie Magic against Danny Swift is going down. PBC for life, bringing boxing back for free. This is your boy, the fight doctor. And I thank you guys for watching. So long and subscribe to the channel. Shout out to my boys from Brooklyn Fights. For doing the thing right. Holler back, Master Boxing.